Well, nothing says I love you like something homemade. In this case, we're talking about cookies. Now, these might look intricate, but they're pretty simple to make, apparently, at home this Valentine's Day. Yeah, according to our resident baker, Shannon Smith, <laughs> she says it's easy. We'll see we'll this. See. We'll see. Okay, she shares this unique decorating technique. Hey everybody, it's Shannon Smith here with a cookie decorating technique that is gonna make you look like you are so artistic that you're gonna wow anybody you give these cookies to. We're gonna start with the ingredients we have here. So we have some heart-shaped sugar cookies. These of course can be any shape you want. Two cups of powdered sugar, about a third a cup of water, some food coloring, a spatula, a scribe. This is gonna be to mix the icing, but you can also use a toothpick or a fork. So we're gonna start with making our icing. Again, this is just two cups of powdered sugar. And when you make an icing like this, you don't wanna add all the water. You wanna add a little bit at a time and just kind of give it a stir and see where it goes from there. If you don't have enough water, it'll be too thick. If you have too much water, it's gonna be running all over the place. You will probably get powdered sugar all over the place. Just be ready for that. So now what we're gonna do is make a marbled looking cookie effect. So there are a couple ways to do this. You can take your food coloring and put a little bit in and mix it up, or you can do that with some more icing. You're gonna squirt a bunch in like this. You can see I've got just whatever shape going on. You're gonna take your toothpick, your fork, your scribe, and just kind of swirl it around a little bit. So you see we've got this cool looking marbled pattern. Now here's the fun part. You're gonna take your heart cookie. You're gonna put it upside down and put it right in the middle. Wiggle it around, make sure it's covered. Then you're gonna kind of swing it around. Swing it around a little bit. And then when you flip it over, you've got this really cool looking marbled effect. And sometimes you'll see some little bubbles will start to form. You can just pop those with your, your fork or your toothpick. And that's just because some air got into the icing. Totally normal. So I'm gonna use this maroon color. You're gonna put in a couple drops. Swirl that around. This might give you a more vibrant color because this is, you know, undiluted food coloring. Take it out. And then that's a really cool look too for your marbled hearts. And if you want to too, you could go back in and you know swirl it around a little bit more if you want some more swirl in that design and just for fun let's add a little bit more of this icing leave those out a couple hours to dry pack them up give them to your kids for valentine's day surprise your loved ones when they come home from work with a plate of these cool marbled cookies hey let me know if you try these out i'm shannon smith happy almost valentine's day I mean, that how adorable. Cute. Mine would turn out brown. I'm just kidding. Mine wouldn't look like that either. <laughs> she makes it look easy, but is it really? Mine would be like, oh, look, honey, I got you a brown cookie. <laughs>